And if that fails, we'll just go away sneaky. Let's go! What's going on guys? So we're back here playing The Outer Worlds and in this video we are trying to do uh, one of the companion quests for Nioka. Uh, in the last video I ended up dying right around this area actually but it, it showed me that the mark map marker was wanting me to go over there but I think that was actually the main quest line. Because now, it's telling me to go here and here on her quest, which is kind of weird. I'm not really sure. So we're going to go ahead and investigate this building right here and see what ends up happening. As you can see, I got Ellie and Nioka with me. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and try to go in here. I wonder what's going on. I hope there's not bad people. Well, actually, it says that it's sealed. Not really sure where I'm supposed to be going, though, to be honest. What's up here? This place looks abandoned. Watch me not even be at the right place, like, at all. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So that's locked. This is opened. Weird. There's like nothing here. I'm pretty sure this is a place for a quest. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's standard troop helmet. Eh. Some more bits. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think we're at the right place like at all. And if anything, to be honest, we might just continue the main storyline if I can't really find where I'm supposed to be going. Because now it's telling me that I have to go. See, look, this is it's telling me something green right there. I'm not sure what that is. And then something over here at Stellar Bay Ruins. Uh, I'm kind of tempted. Let's just go ahead and fast travel to this location and see what it's telling me to do exactly. Alrighty. So it's actually telling me to go inside. I kind of wish if you teleported here that it actually told you to go actually inside, you know? Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. What are you guys I'm talking about? To the others, sir. Who are you? Well, you look fancy. New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? Um... That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? <laughs> I've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. You can tell she doesn't care. This newcomer has a meeting with me. I don't even know you. It's like, no, you have a meeting with me. Okay, that's very generous of you, sir. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> but not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Uh, this man named John, last name Travolta? I'm looking for the information broker. Out at Devil's Peak? If you're headed that far, I see you've brought the right woman for the job. Nioka. Damn right. I knew it. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. If you say so. So what do you what exactly are you trying to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, 
Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. And now you don't have to play by their rules. Sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scrapping by? Is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Uh, I disagree. It might be pr pricey, but it's worth it. Uh, that's a coward's answer. I have people to look after. I need to be practical. You got to be a leader. That's why Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. What exactly does that mean? Uh, This lady knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. That's interesting. And how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Sure, yeah. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. So this Bolt 52 sounds useful. What exactly is this? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. Uh, so once you find, once you have this Bolt 52, what's the other part of your plan exactly? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Uh, I don't, uh, I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Well, this guy sounds shady. Uh, sure, bye. That guy sounds really shady, actually. But then again, everybody that works for the board sounds shady, doesn't, don't they? Wait, is that where I'm supposed to be going? So... The bolt with his name... No, oh, I'm trying to do this one. Stop taking me to the wrong place! This game gets confusing sometimes because it automatically adjusts what mission you're doing. Uh, as you get new ones and the problem with that is that if you're currently doing one and you stumble across a new one It automatically adjusts and then you you're going doing different things that you're not wanting to do exactly. Hold on. Wait a minute How do I get to that side or is it this No So this is the passcode it's got to be around here somewhere, right? I'm not so sure. Because I can't even access those things. I'm still in that. There's got to be a way around. Watch there not be a way around. Oh, wait. Maybe it's in here. Hey, Delma, I got your cabinet. Your 
a lifesaver. Okay, there we go. Okay, so how do I get in there? Oh, this dude is dead. Hold on. Bloody note. Can I read it? Okay, so it looks like now I gotta go to another place. Hold on, let me make sure that the journal didn't switch on me. All right, where's this at? So, region. Okay, so I gotta go way down here. So I'm gonna fast travel to this location and then just pretty much run all the way over there. Alrighty. Looks like we got quite a little trek on our on the way there. So last time, I think I killed a Manta Queen somewhere around here. Hold on, is it that way or that way? I want to say it's this way? Oh, I guess they both lead in the same direction. So I suppose I'll go this way. But off camera, when I was trying to go to the initial what? location... His calls don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Oh, nice. Ugh. Yeah, I ended up fighting a Manta Queen and... and clean that asshole was hard, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Go. I am a Man, these things are freaking cool, man. They're so unique. <laughs> get it off get it off I don't know what was happening but that was pretty funny is there another one around here I can hear him yeah right up there where right before we came down here I ended up fighting a manta queen because I remember that bridge I got stuck right there because I couldn't keep on going and there was actually a man up there uh, it was a named NPC and I obviously I couldn't talk to him so I'm assuming I can just go around this way and talk to him but I don't know. We'll see. The mission's taking me this way, though. Go! Nah, huh? yeah, he got destroyed. Goodbye, Poochie. Is he dead? Nope. Come on, Poochie! Oh, you're not going nowhere. Damn, I messed that dude up. Nioka's down. Where'd she go? Nioka, get your little ass up. I need you to help fight. Where are you at? Where's Nioka? There you are. Hi, nice of you to join me. Or us, technically. If you want to consider Elia. Well, what am I talking about? Of course she's a companion. She's we're all we're on this together. Alright, looks like we're here though. So that's the good thing. The Fallbrook Crossroads. Very nice. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there. You, need a drink. you don't say. We're only halfway to the mountain, so. Might consider stopping in. Will do. Hi, what's your name? Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Joke's on you, I don't have a cabin. I have my own spaceship. Uh, Lydia sent me. Where's Catherine? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous, yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. A whit? Never heard that before. Breathe, it's okay. Just point me towards uh, Miss Malin, please. She's... She's not but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Oh, uh, sounds nice. Wise, Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Uh, I think I'm good. Thank you. Bye. Time 
for a round of whisk. Or a round of whiskey. Or both. Oh, is this the place? Gambling and organized crime. Everything you need to keep civilization running. Yeah, I think this is the place that was advertised. Or not advertised, but is uh, in the game trailers. I remember seeing this. I, it has to be it. It looks pretty cool, though. Want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? Boss lady told me to take the night off. No. Thank you for the offer, though. Look at this dude. That mask looks sick, dude. All right. Uh, look at this dude's top hat. <laughs> Well, hello there. What's your name? Uh huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken. I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Does she not look exactly like one of the NPCs that we met? Uh, I forgot what it's called in that first world that we were in. But anyways, uh, yeah, you're real friendly. If I nut, wait, hold on, charm. If by nugget of paradise you mean piece of Manti Dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Canadian whiskey. Actually, I'm the fixer of your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. Well, that's nice. Just cut to the chase, Malin. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Uh, define safe, exactly. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. I should just... Throw her out and just leave her alone. Are you kidding me? Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Well, uh... Sure, why not? No problem. Neoga's handled some mantis horrors before. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibility. You know when to strike and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. I don't want to get dead, but thank you, though. Good thing we have an engineer. Parvati will handle it. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. How the hell am I going to remember that? You make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. 
That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. <laughs> the self-proclaimed forced king of monarchy is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forced factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Uh... What specifically do you want me to do? Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Uh, any tips on how I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Who's Duncan? Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Boy, if I know. Well, that's interesting. Say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. And if I wanted to kill him? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means. Just the end. Well, this is interesting, man. There's a lot of ways to complete this one. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. There goes with the Star Wars reference. I wonder if there's any legendaries here. And the answer is no. And no. Thank you. Catherine's great, ain't she? So where's the... Oh, here it goes. So long as you don't mind being at the death. No rubbernecking. I'm looking for something in particular. Uh, Catherine said you give me an ID cartridge. Not so fast. Our biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Uh, I think the fact that Catherine Mellon sent me makes me special enough, don't you think? She needs it for a job. Well, why didn't you say so? I mean, Reckoned you asked her where to come on now. One and she obligingly pointed you my way. Consider yourself yeah, special. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. <laughs> Get to the left, perhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? What does that mean, unwholesome customers? I have no idea. Let's trade. Anything interesting? Whoa, look at this stuff. I wish I could see what it looks like on my character. Oh, I think that's what they wear outside. I mean, it's pretty cool, though. But I'm probably not going to wear it. Do you sell legendary? Oh, she's a weapons mer you merchant. You for pre-owned or new? Uh. If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Let's check out what you have. Both. Period. This girl has a lot of weapons. Nothing unique, though. All right, let's go over here. Nope. Sorry. Thank you, but no thank you. Maybe in here? Why does nobody have legendaries? I want more legendaries. I don't have enough. 
All right, let's go ahead and level up. So skills, let's go ahead and put this into persuade. Hold on, what goes after pistol? 20 more percent chance of critical hit chance. Damn, that's pretty good too. So I guess I'll do 10 in here. Actually, I'll do 15 and 15. There we go. That should be good. Looks like I had a few uh, perks that I needed to do. So how many? Yeah, I got two. I got two points. So what is this? Restore health whenever you kill an enemy. Damn, that's... That's not bad, actually. Run and gun. Tactical time dilation. Increased dealt with science weapons. Increased movement speed. What is this that I got last time? Okay. No. I mean, that this one would be cool, but no. Tend to dialogue skills. Oh, when you have no companions in your party. So, 40 more carrying capacity from companions. That's not very bad. But I haven't needed, you know, inventory space yet. So, I don't think I'm going to take that. Consumable weight. This one so far is my number one. I don't really... I only like using companion abilities at the start of a fight. It kind of annoys me, so I don't think I want to do this. Same thing with that. And same thing with that. So let's just go ahead and go with the health. And it looks like I got one more. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with a tactical time dilation. Well, we'll do that. And... Looks like we're good. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? Alright, we're supposed to go out the back, so fine. That's great. Yeah, this outfit does look badass, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Let's check this real quick. Ooh... Not too shabby. Eh. What the hell is up with that music? Oh, get out of my way. Fallbrook patron. Let's go. Alright, so how far do we have to go? Alright. Looks like we have to go kind of far, actually. Wait, hold on. I bet... Um. All right, so where does this take me? This takes me right there, which they're both on the way. Let's just do this. I shipped with a merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, leapt with it. Not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Damn. The ladies are just talking smack about the men. Oh shit. Back away slowly. That was potentially hazardous to my health. Kind of like this. To shreds. Did I see somebody over here? You. Die. Night, night. Is there anybody else? Oh, there they are. Stand still. I'm trying to kill you. 
Oh, point blank right to the head. That's the last of them. Good job, you guys. Ellie, you need to step it up a little bit. I love you to death, girl, but you're the weak. You're clearly the weakest link here. Health wise. Look northwest. That ain't it. But marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. All right. So we still got to continue going west. But that place looks pretty interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. No, thank you. Anyone else? I wish I could skip those. Whoa! <laughs> ah! Come back here, damn it. Who the hell lit me on fire? Oh, that little guy's dead. We're done here. Yes, we are. Wait a minute. Do I have to go this way? All right, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Okay, so yeah, I gotta go continue going. And then go north. Okay, tracking. So it looks like I'm going to have to fight some marauders, though, because I have to go through this little city. Nioka, you're up. Oh, crap. You guys came out of nowhere. Oh, very nice. I can't even see that guy's head. Nut shot. Dude, I just blew off his head. What the hell, man? Oh, there we go. They're big, so we're using this. Oh crap, this little guy blasted me. These guys are fucking very, they can easily overwhelm you. Whoops, wrong button. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Ah! Let's go, Ellie! Get away from me, you bastard! All right, let's go. Good job. Not bad, huh? That was pretty scary though, I'm not gonna lie. I almost died. Now I gotta figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. This way, I'm pretty sure it was this way. But first, let's check these people. Nioka, oh, I'll say, where's Nioka? I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. Very nice. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others the slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. Um... I guess... 
Hmm. Let's go this way. Hold on. What what mission am I doing anyways? Radio Free Monarch. All right. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty intense. Look, there's a dead man. Let's go in. Wow. All I gotta say is this place looks amazing. Dude, this place looks so sick. Now I gotta figure out how to get Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Alrighty. Somehow I feel like that's gonna be easier said than done. Alright, let's just do this. Nyoka, you're up. Your turn, Ellie. My turn. This is not going to be easy. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Alright, so that didn't go as planned the first time. So maybe we need to clear out some of the area before we cross. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take out these guys first. Ah! There's too many of them. Heal. Holy shit heal. Good job. There's still a lot of them though. Alright, maybe we need to just chill out for a second before we get overwhelmed by the enemies again. Because that was a lot of freaking people, dude. Is there any over here? I hear some people. Hold on really quick. So the condition to my pistol is actually at zero. That's not a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and just change weapons. <clears throat> This, in the long run, is going to do me a lot more. So, Nyoka, you're up. Followed by Ellie. Holy shit, this is like very Star Wars. Uh, leave me alone. Holy fuck. Run away. Oh god, I'm fucking scared. What the hell is he doing? Run! Leave 
Leave me alone, you bastard! Run! Oh god. Oh, he's protecting his damn stomach. Ah! No! Let's go ahead and heal. Let's hit this jackass in the weak spot. I can't see. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, thank God. But now I gotta take care of these other guys. Did I win? Oh no, there's still this jackass right here. Come on, buddy. Woo, I think we made it. <clears throat> that was insane, dude. Where you guys at? There you guys are. Woo! High five. High five. Good job. I mean, I did most of the work. No big deal, but you know. So she said, now we got a hook left. Oh, wait. Ammo? Ammo? Ammo. Oh, look. It's a dead man. I definitely need the adrenal. Oh god. Oh no, not another one. I mean, we have no choice. Here we go. Come on. You gotta shoot him in the stomach, jackass. Ah! Did I kill him? I think I did. Dude, it's so bright, I can't see shit, man. Get away from me. Alright, that guy's dead. Pretty sure I still got one of those swarm left. Alrighty. Was that everybody? I'm partially blind. So too much damage to your eyes has permanently lowered your accuracy. Definitely not. I haven't really found a need to use any of that yet, to be honest. It's all good though. Alrighty. How many more Manta Queens are we going to fight in here? Because I can't do this all day, dude. It's too, too much. I can feel my stress rising. 
good thing is I don't hear anymore. Tunnel here. Well, god damn it, dude. I'm gonna wait till these guys freaking heal up all the way though, because I don't want them to die. Dear Lord. Maybe I could just bypass them. You know what? I should probably save it. Alright. At least this way, if I die, we'll be right here. It's over here. Oh, God. It's a Mega Manta Queen? The fuck does that even mean? That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Nah, to you. bruh. I vote the latter. Who the hell is that up there? You know what? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try to fight him first. And if that fails, we'll just go away, sneaky. Let's go! The good thing is that this dude has a big stomach. Who just died? Come on. Get away from me! Ah, he's not that hard. Oh, what the fuck! I heal too late. You know what? We are gonna fight him because I, I know we can. I know we can defeat him. Turn around. It would be nice if that dude on the top would help. There we go. Very nice. Now you, who are you? That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. I was about to say, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. <laughs> your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me. Oh, law, I don't want to die. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. No shit. So, what are you doing here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered... They ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Well, thank you. I don't know if that was worth it. But, oh well. Flamethrower? Okay, that's cool, but... Don't need a flamethrower. So uh, we should be literally just like 50 feet away. 50 meters away. And I think this is the exit. And I think we actually killed just about everybody here. 
How do I get out of here? That's the real question. Oh, God. Didn't even get our hands dirty. Yeah. Alrighty, so... Oh, fuck. That was close. Uh <laughs> I I could have definitely handled that damn dog. Here we go. Get out of the way. <laughs> Nyoka just died out of nowhere. That's funny. What is this? Heavy grade face mask? Sure. Definitely be needing those. And that. And that. Aw, oh, dude. The resident died. How the fuck do I get out of here? All right, let's try to go back. There's got to be a way to exit over here where that super mega Manta Queen thing was. Holy crap, I almost freaking fell off this damn mountain. Oh, right here. And here we are. Oh, awesome. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! Who the fuck's calling me? Uh, say what? Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Uh-oh. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Because me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. Well, uh, no. But even if I was, I would put one right between your face. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Uh, shouldn't you be doing something about that? It's your job to protect the station, isn't it? Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. And that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. What are you waiting for? Help me kill these marauders. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Ooh, that sounds fun. How do I find these other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Alright, I'm off then. Freaking awesome. Alright, so looks like we're in a little bit of a predicament here. Uh, we're going to have to go somewhere else and help basically get back up so we can assault this base and take it back from the marauders. <laughs> But it sounds like a very big undertaking, which we don't have time in this video to continue. So we're going to do that in the next video. So if this is a video you guys enjoyed or a series that you guys are enjoying, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.